Hey, this is Ben with Conequip 101. Today, we're gonna be talking about installing a swing bearing on a Cat 311B. And to help me with this project, gonna bring my friend, Donald. Thanks so much, we got our friend Donald here today. Thanks for letting us come by here. Uh, they've got a Cat 311B that they're taking the swing bearing out, the old piece of crap junk one. We got the Dyco new one getting ready to be installed. They've already taken the rotary manifold out and capped off all the lines. They took out a handful of bolts already from the swing bearing, just to kind of save some time on that for the video. Okay. When you uh, pull the rotation manifold out and, and cap all the lines on it, you can still crank the machine on most all machines and still use the machine to help you with the process. Okay. Uh, so with all that, what, what's kind of the next steps here? Well, with uh, everything, we've got it jacked up, got it on uh, blocks, got it, uh, got it on the machine on stands, got the overhead hoist hooked to it just for safety. I've got two big stands back there and they're actually welded, a cross, cross piece okay. welded to them so that you can, uh, so that it's stationary and won't rock. One's turned sideways, one's turned okay. forward. That way there's no rocking or anything to it. The boom on the machine is holding weight and uh, like I said, the crane is just actually hooked to it just for just for safety, just so that nothing shifts or anything while we're working on it. And then those those two big stand, uh, two big jacks there are actually holding the carriage right in the center. And then all the weights right on those all, on the jacks. Yeah. You just have yes. to be extra careful and sure. do, it, do it as safely as you can with moving everything. Next thing we're going to do is jack it up, uh, take the blocks out from under the tracks. We're going to start sep take the boats out to separate it and That's just let nice. the top stay still and the bottom just ease we're going to ease it down to separate it wow. then we'll take the last row uh, last few bolts out and swing this take the swing bearing out so. wow well let's get started we've got all the bolts broke loose and uh and ready and we're just going to take them out with our ratchet the, we'll leave the bearing swing bearing on the lower carriage and then once we get those bolts out, we got it set up where we can just ease this down. And uh, once we ease it down, then we can get to where we can take the other bolts out, take the bearing out. What they're gonna do is they got a jack stand on each side, and then they're gonna put a piece of steel going across all the way just to help extra support on the front, because currently what the front is being held on and held up by is the boom itself. Man, it's so exciting. The last bolts are coming out, and we can take the old one out, and we'll get ready to put the new one in. We're cleaning up all the nasty grease and grit and grime that's been built up over the past 15, 20 years, trying to get out all clean and ready to put the new bearing back in. So Donald, we got this old one out um, that doesn't look like very nice black grease anymore. What do you think happened to this one or what did the customer experience? It's just the years of grit and grime getting down through the center where the rotation uh, manifold is, mm -hmm. stuff getting down in it, it getting greased, it getting water in there and rusting and all that. None of the teeth are bad. It was just getting a lot of slack in the bearing. Okay. And the yeah. slack in the bearing is just, it, you could pick up on the bucket and you could feel it teeter-totter. That's it not was, good. It, yeah. And he just wanted to fix it before it broke the teeth on the rotation. Yep. And it's more money too for oh, yeah. pinion when shafts you, and... You get, get further along, yes sir. Gotcha. So on, on the Dyco swing bearings, there is an S stamped on it. And what that means, that's a soft point. 
That's where the heat treat starts and finishes, and that is going to be the soft point of the metal. So we want to put that in a location that is going to be kind of the least used and abused and least amount of force per se possible that's on the machine, which talking with Donald, we kind of assume is going to be more over the track side because um, as you were saying, most of the people are digging off of the front or the rear side. It just gives you better stability. Yeah, there's a lot more. The tracks are longer from front to rear instead of, and on the side, you lose about two foot of leverage and uh, you can get a lot more leverage to the front of the rear. One of the things here too is going to be uh, cleaning off the swing bearing, the new swing bearing, and we got to make sure we're not using solvent though that is going to be ruining some of the seals. So you got to just be next? careful. Blake clean on a rag and it'll take the oil off so that it'll seal back and, and, and clear up and be clean. Donald, why don't you give us a little quick rundown as to what's been accomplished so far? Uh, well, so far we've gotten everything set up, gotten it split apart, got the old bearing off, everything cleaned up, the mounting surface is cleaned up and we're ready to put the new bearing back in place. All we need to do now is just, you know, get everything moved into place, bolted down, then we're gonna grease the bearing. Speaking of some hard work, guys, you gotta make sure the serial number's right to make sure we get the right part number, to get the right swing bearing, so that when guys like Donald get this, they ain't gotta worry about doing this or that and changing everything else. A man doesn't wanna do this twice. It's, this is a, and, and when you get something split apart like this, it's a pretty big job when you've got something that weighs this much set up and you're trying to keep everything safe. You know, nobody wants to get hurt. We wanna keep working. Everybody's got kids and everything. It's a, you know, it's a pretty good job, but if you can do it and do it safely, you know, pretty much anybody that's got a, a pretty good shop and, and tools can do this. You know, yeah. it's not, it's not something just everybody can do, but you need to get it in a, you know, in a spot where you can make sure that you do it safely. Yeah, get tube of silicone, Jacob. You ready, Jim? All right, somewhere about right in there. All right, can you get your bar back in under it and we're gonna... All right. So you're getting, uh, you got a tube of silicone going on underneath we're here? We're gonna silicone it and that just makes a, a better bond to everything. Keeps the dirt and trash out too. got the new swing bearing in position. It's all lined up and you got a brand new swing bearing. You should put brand new bolts in because that is the best thing to do for sure. The old ones can stretch and things like that can happen. They might get a little wobbly from the old one. I'm talking big machine right here. So new bolts, brand new swing bearing. It's gonna feel like a brand new machine. Yeah, we're just marking a, a bolt so that we can line up with a hole. It makes it easier on us trying to get Twist the ground lined up. Donald, we got it all greased. Uh, what's the next stage here then? Well, we're gonna tighten the boat, go around and snug all this up, get it to where we can uh, get everything cleaned up, then the stands out from under it and get it back safe to work on. And then we're gonna get ready to start, get ready and raise it up. We're gonna wait about torquing everything until it's all pulled together and when it's got all the boats in it and then go around and torque all the boats. We're gonna torque them and, and we're gonna look up the torque specs. I probably got a service manual on this. Look up the torque specs. They will have to be all torqued, but it needs to be when it's all put together and the weight setting on it and then go around and start and then and then it'll either have a a series that you'll torque it in or you can you know go around and tighten it in steps most of you'll tighten it to you know maybe 50 pounds 75 and then 100 so 
Donald, you're moving some stuff around here to get ready to lower it. Is that the next plan? No, we're not going to lower the machine. We're going to raise the undercarriage back up to it. This is safer. The machine is so heavy and awkward and no way to you really hold it. You're going to let the machine with the crane, with the crane, the stands in the back and the arm and stuff support itself. We let the undercarriage down as we were coming apart. We're going to ease it back up this time. Within about a about the width of the dowel. Still lining it up here, but about the width of the dowel pin off. The swing gear is not turned enough, turned in the right position to get it one side trying to line up, not the other. I'm gonna crank the machine with everything sitting here. All I'm gonna do is try and rotate it just a little bit and let them watch it and see if we can't get it where they both mesh together. Got the top row of bolts torqued, uh, everything and do double checked on them. We're uh, fixing to set the rotary manifold in, start with it. We got a new rubber seal for the top of it, which is probably what let a lot of the water and stuff get down into the old bearing and mess it up. And uh, we're going to drop it in, start hooking up hydraulic hoses. Uh, we try and get this, you know, it won't be much to finishing up the job after that. It's a little aggravation. I always get wet with hydraulic fluid, but it's, uh, you know, it's. All part of this job. So they're starting it up and checking for some leaks. Always got to check for leaks after everything's done. You got a lot of hoses that had to get attached, some oil seals and everything like that. So always fire it up, run it for a few minutes or so, check for leaks. Check all around, all the fittings, all the seals, all the O-rings, all the gaskets. The new Dyco swing bearing made the CAT 311B swing like new. Our hope is that you get some good tips on replacing a swing bearing, some ideas for your next job, and perhaps even a few laughs. We want to thank Donald and his crew for allowing us to swing by to shoot this video. <laughs> get it? Swing by? If you need a swing bearing or any other parts for your machine, definitely give Con Equip Parts a call. The number is right on the screen there. In the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the notifications button, like us on Facebook, and maybe tweet us some swing bearing tips you have. For now, I'm Ben for Conequip 101.